Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. The title of this video is Twin Flames, Be Devoted to Your Truth. So I'm going to be talking about being devoted to your person, because if you are devoted to your twin flame, please rest assured, they will also be just as devoted to you, even if they may be showing you something that looks, that seems completely different, but... We're not concerning ourselves with seeming here. Their devotion mirrors yours. So connect. To connect with a part of yourself that's devoted to truth. And expand it, amplify it, deepen your commitment to your twin flame in your heart. Apparent obstacles coming together, or whatever they may be, are just a shield formed by what society says things and relationships should be like. They're a paper thin layer of falseness. Don't give them energy. Don't give them power. Don't let them distract you from enjoying the love that's there now. Things don't have to feel painful or lost or lonely. Choose for it to be easy. Someone's having fun. Focus on enjoying the journey. You're going home. This uh, also refers to the theme of presence. Obstacles and third parties are a distraction. It's safe to real release them along with the ego. As you approach your harmonious union, you'll be able to feel it coming. And it will feel different to all the false dawns of the past. There's a deeper knowing to it. You will know that it's building a, not a noticeable upward shift in energy. All levels of communication and connection are converging. You can have that communication and connection right now in your heart. Dreams are also a wonderful way to receive it. When you invite your twin's energy to connect with you in your heart, you'll find there comes a point where they practically run you over to reach you like a blast. No, and know that, please know that the divine is there for you and will be true to you every step of the way. Another recent theme has been that both you and your beloved have been shifting from desiring to intention. And some may be even shifting into communication or connection or an offer or whatever stage you're at is absolutely fine. Your intention to communicate with the divine directly is key. Allowing the divine to speak to you through your, say, your favourite activity, through your twin, also receive this divine communication not specifically through anything but through all things not just dreams going out into nature but everything just as higher and baser forms of communication with your twin flames are consolidating so is your communication with the divine the divine is always here there is no need to fear only love is given heaven on earth is for you and continue with with the theme of communication with the divine as you do so you're balancing into your ideal divine self coming into the ideal proportions of your divine self however you look you're perfect for your beloved just as you are it's a complete process of allowing ourselves to surrender into balance and alignment you're coming to equilibrium release comparisons be like a peacock Every peacock believes that his or her tail is the finest in the world. Every being is so ridiculously unique. Embrace your own uniqueness for your twin flame. There is no other. And there is no one else for them. That's it. The truth upon which everything's built. Don't fear change. Although we are well aware the road can be bumpy in places and our faith will be tested. Have faith that the divine is guiding you. No matter what your journey looks like, love is always the answer, no matter how dark things seem. Release frustrations and stress. Re regroup. Approach your situation from a place of peace. No matter what shenanigans your twin flame may be getting up to, you'll be able to respond from a calm, relaxed stance. On the other hand, it's possible that your twin flame may have gone a bit quiet at this time. The key is how you feel about it. Do you feel the closeness of the heart? 
Some of my previous videos were about using this time period for cultivating the internal energy exchange of the internal communication. You're so if you're doing that, you're currently growing the relationship within. You're definitely on your approach to harmonious union. And as you as you approach further and your person comes closer and closer, that internal communication increases and improves and becomes more peaceful. This is the process of mastery. Furthermore, at this time, if a physical message is sent to your beloved, they seem to be getting received much faster than previously, even immediately. The responses are relevant. It's not about... You don't send a message with the expectation of getting something back from them. This goes back to the communication with the Divine. When we're cultivating that connection and listening to what the Divine has to say to us, then our Twin Flame can do the same. And it's perfect. If they haven't yet, the internal, the inner intention is definitely there. Keep going. Cool. That feels really good. I think I'm gonna choose this moment to end this video. I hope you, you enjoyed it. I hope you got something from it and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.